CBS reports, Watts, Riot or Revolt continues. Theirs, they say, is a different world about which white Americans have bothered to learn very little. Indeed, the first thorough study of Negroes and how they live in this country was completed only a few months ago. Our government, which conducts detailed surveys of everything from sugar beets in Colorado to social habits in Cambodia, had never before taken a close look at the 21 million Negroes of America. Daniel Moynihan, until this summer, Assistant Secretary of Labor, was in charge of the study and was staggered by it. Moynihan says the Negro family structure is collapsing, and we asked him the reasons. The first is, remember, that American slavery was the worst slavery the world has ever known. We can't get that into our heads because the standard of living of the slaves was high, perhaps. We don't think, we don't see how awful it was. We deprived them of the sacraments as Christians. We deprived them of the, any institutions as family life. We deprived them of any rights as human beings. There's a very long and complicated history, but we did. There's no other slavery like it in history. And there was no Negro family at all in, in the slave world. Secondly, segregation and the great humiliation of Jim Crow was a, was a brutal assault on the personal integrity of the Negro male. I mean, he was the man who took the brunt of it. Thirdly, urbanization uh, poured into the cities. The, the, don't forget, the Negroes of our time, because they're Americans, we don't see them as immigrants. The Negroes in Watts were immigrants, just as my much as the Italians or Irish or whatever who poured into the cities in the 19th century. And it wasn't a very pretty sight in New York in 19, 1870 either, let me tell you. Uh, the families break up when they leave countrysides, rural peasant life, and sort of dump into slums. Fourthly, unemployment. We have had 35 years of disastrous unemployment and uh, for the Negro male. He has never gotten over the Depression. He had four fair years, fair to middling years in the Second World War and uh, maybe a good year in the Korean War, and that's it. It's getting better just recently. But by and large, it's been going on beyond the imagining in the white world. I mean, rates of unemployment, you know, teenage unemployment in the uh, white world, in the Negro world today is almost 25%. Can you imagine that? That is a social crime. That's an outrage. There isn't a society in the world which will let 25% of uh, teenagers go unemployed. Uh, about a quarter of Negro families are headed by women. Uh, the divorce rate is two and a half times what it is. And all the, the, these, the number of fatherless children keeps growing. Um, and all these things getting worse, not better, over recent years. Uh, it's not a, not a matter of a bad situation that doesn't improve, but rather a bad situation that worsens. Got to get that clear, it's getting worse. How'd you learn how to behave from your father and your mother and your older sisters, maybe, and the people around you? Well, supposing there is no father, or if he is a father, he doesn't work, um, where there is no education, where there's no, no sense of, of getting ahead, where children are just brought up without any of that support which a family gives it, then what do you end up with? You end up a cycle reproducing itself. A UCLA study published with of the entire on the part of the young men uh, in this particular area of the city. The thinking of the entire nation must be changed as the goals of the Negro community move from liberty to equality, says Daniel Moynihan. No group in our society is satisfied if for many, many years, for generations, uh, the, the competitions of life always end up with them as the losers. Now, equality isn't a demand that everybody live the same. That uh, flat level of existence, that's not the thing at all. What is true is a demand that, given one group of people, that you distribute success and failure and distinction and anonymity and affluence and poverty about the same way it's distributed in other groups. We've got to get men to work. You can't, a man can't run his family if he doesn't have a job. Does it just, just start there? Is there any secret to that? I mean, do you have to have sociologists tell this country that? No. Uh, creating jobs for men is no secret about it. We know how to do it. We've just got to get it clear in our minds. Either we do do it, or we're going to spoil this beautiful country of ours. And that means spoiling those pretty white suburbs just as much as spoiling those, those nasty and ugly places like Watts.
Moynihan speaks of the situation confronting our nation. The McCone Commission sought to answer questions about Watts, 